Right, we're still waiting for that full truck, so I thought I'd do this one now. So two parts to the ratchet strap. That bit's fairly straightforward. It's got a hook on one side, the rest of it's just plank. The other side to the ratchet strap is this. Now the way it works is like this. If you look at that like that, that is it solid. If you pull the trigger back, it releases the ratchet mechanism there. This is the ratchet mechanism. You release that trigger, it just flees throws freely. So the first thing you want to do, whether it's like that, if it's locked shut, you can lock it shut like that as well. It doesn't really make a lot of difference, but it's more professional probably. And so the first thing you want to do is put it so that you pull your trigger back, put it so it's level. Okay, then you look at this. Now this is slightly in the wrong place. You can make life slightly easier on yourself. Pull the trigger back, click, click, click again. Do it over here, And you'll see that there's a hole going through the middle. So what we do is we secure this side on the van, and then on this bit, you pull this through the hole through the middle like this. And then you keep going until this is tight. Once this is tight, pull back on the trigger, put it the way round, and then you start ratcheting. And you keep ratcheting until this bit, which is attached to the other end, gets tight. Once it's tight, pull back on the trigger, close it all the way in so it's locked, and that will be your pallet locked in place. If you use this video, plus the other video that I've just done, between the two of them, hopefully they should set, just, um, shed some light on it. It's not that easy, because one of them, if, if I'm trying to do it, like when I'm standing up, you can't see it, when I'm trying to do it in front of you, not quite so straightforward, but I hope between the two they help. Any questions, give me a shout. Take care, take money.